Hello friends, after a long time I have come back with another of my educational videos and this is about Kurnu model of duopoly. So what is the Kurnu model? This is about two forms which are producing a homogeneous product and they are deciding to produce this, this product. Market clearing price will be given as PQ. Uh, this is A minus Q where capital Q is the nothing but then the summation of the individual forms quantities. So we realize that this demand function takes the following form that it will be A minus Q. If the total quantity is less than equal, there is no fixed cost of production. We are starting with the simplest possible model. So we are removing the idea of fixed cost and then uh, this average uh, cost is constant C. This will also be same as the marginal cost. So basically we are trying to say that the uh, average cost is equal to marginal cost. This is going like C. And we are saying that if this is the average cost or marginal cost, then if you want to produce a quantity QI, then the total cost of producing that should be uh, C of QI is equal to average cost multiplied by QI quantity. And we also assume that C is less than A. So you can see it very simply. Suppose that C is here, then what is the point of producing? I am producing at this much average cost per unit cost and I am getting only this much. So I am getting losses of this much. So nobody wants to do that. So C has to be less than A. Now we can write the normal form of this game. So that will be something like uh, players, we start with players, these are the two forms, one and two, then we talk about the strategies. This is given by the strategy space SI that is from zero to infinity. And here a typical forms strategy will be uh, quantity choice QI. And then we see that the profit of each forms is given by this profit function. This is pi i when the form i is producing q i, form j is producing q j. So we see that uh, this is quantity and multiplied with difference of price and the average cost of production that gives you total profit, right? So from where this is coming, that is simple to see pi i is equal to p into q i minus c into q i. So I took q i common and p minus c. So this is coming from here. And then we write the expanded form of this. So demand function is like this q i in and then this is the demand function thing because we have removed the bracket. So this became negative and this is the average cost. This is the quantity. So we got these things. Now we need to uh, simply use our uh, calculus and solve this. We can also use graphs to derive the best response function, but let's first try using the calculus. So we'll start with form one because form one and form two, they are identical. So I will write form ones uh, now we are totally in offline mode so uh, the practice of using this one note is not there so there can be some pro problem initially profit is this is given as pi one when it is producing quantity q1 the other form is producing quantity q2 is equal to q1 and directly I am writing the expanded form. We have discussed that thing earlier. Q1 minus Q2 minus C. And this will be if Q1 plus Q2 is less than or equal to A. And if, interestingly, if uh, my Q1 plus Q2 is greater than A, then the profit will be minus CQ1. So reason for that is that uh, your you will not sell anything. Your price becomes zero. 
so uh, you will sell but your price becomes zero you are exceeding this a and then you are incurring some cost of production so you will get negative profit that's why it is written like this so now we know that uh, if in a two player game uh, we have a strategy profile uh, like this uh, s i star and s j star and this is claimed to be a nash equilibrium then for player i this will satisfy this utility or profit whatever you want to call that <coughs> resulting from playing si star when the other player is sj star is greater than equal to utility or profit whatever you want to take when the form i is playing any other strategy while the form 2 is still playing the nash equilibrium strategy so this is what we know so simply it means that uh, if my uh, strategy profile has to be a nash equilibrium then this should solve the optimization problem of the form 1 and 2 so therefore uh, q1 star and q2 star is a nash equilibrium <coughs> if for each player i uh, q i star solves this maximization problem max pi i q1 q2 star this can be from zero q1 less than greater than equal to zero and less than infinity so this is the simple maximization problem we have to maximize this thing Now uh, assume that Q2 is less than A minus C, then we can solve for the first order condition and we will get pi 1. So we set it equal to 0, this is a minus 2q1 minus q2 minus c is equal to 0 or we get q1 is equal to a minus q2 minus c by 2. So this is the uh, quantity that form 1 will produce given the quantity choice of form 2. So we can now derive our best response from this. This is actually part of the best response. Best response of form 1 is B1 q2 best response of form 1 given the quantity choice by the form 2 if you have forgotten about best responses please see my video about the best response functions 
so this is half a minus q2 minus c if q2 is less than equal to a minus c 0 if q2 is greater than a minus c so this is player 1's best response similarly because the players are symmetrical uh, for form 2 we now know that q2 is equal to a minus q1 minus c upon 2 and we will write the best response of form 2 this will be b2 q1 half of a minus q1 minus c if uh, q1 is less than equal to a minus c 0 if q1 is greater than a minus c okay so now we got this so uh, we can actually simultaneously solve equation 1 and 2 so we will get our Nash equilibrium points <coughs> so what we are doing we are substituting the values of q2 in equation for q1 we know that q1 is equal to a minus q2 minus c by 2 so we are putting the value of q2 here so this is half a minus c minus a minus q1 minus c by 2 <coughs> so this becomes q1 is equal to 1 by 2 2 a minus 2 c minus a minus q1 minus c not minus uh, this will become plus and this will become plus by 2 so this 2 a and minus c is gone minus 2 c and plus c is gone so minus c is remaining so we know that now this is 4q1 minus q1 is equal to what is remaining here a minus c implies that q1 is equal to a minus c by 3 this is actually q1 star uh, what we say that this is the final value coming out of this okay so this is q1 star right so and uh, we see that in this there is no mention of q2 similarly we can solve for q2 also and we will realize that q2 star will also come as a minus c by 3 so both are coming to be same and now uh, once we have got the quantity so now the, we know that um, Nash equilibrium is uh, Q1 star Q2 star is equal to A minus C by 3 comma A minus C by 3 so this is the Nash equilibrium of this Kurnu game. Now we can solve for the market price at equilibrium. 
market price p star will be a minus q star and we know that q star is nothing but q1 plus q2 so we will write a minus 2 by 3 a minus c so this becomes 3a minus 2a plus 2c by 3 so this is cancelled out we get a plus 2c by 3 as the p star right uh, after this we can solve for the profits of individual forms also so we know that pi 1 is equal, uh, is equal to pi 2 is equal to q i into p minus c so let us put we know that q is a minus c by 3 and price is a plus 2c by 3 and minus c so you expand this further a minus c by 3 and this is this will be a plus 2c minus 3c by 3 so this will be c so this is gone this is gone so this is nothing but a minus c this is pi 1 star is equal to a minus c ka whole square okay so this is the individual forms profit this will be same for uh, form 2 also because the forms are identical so this will be same for the form 2 also so rather than writing it again I am writing here pi 2 star also <coughs> and the total market or industry profit will be industry profit will be pi star is equal to pi 1 star plus pi 2 star so implies that pi star is equal to 2 by 9 a minus c whole square right so this is the way we solve for the Kurnu game this is the simplest model in some time I will bring uh, further refinements on this and they will be uh, more interesting. So keep watching and if you like my effort uh, consider subscribing and liking and sharing the video. Thank you.